After doing that, it prompts you to a uh, place to add your ad units. Don't link, don't press on the link admin account. Just go to add manually. This is it. Click on add manually. You had it manually. That's what you do. So you click on the button there. Add ad units. The ad units name. This is banner one. I want to feed the banner has first. Add units ID. You will call a save it on notebook. Then I have to press the back button here. Oh. Yeah. Let's wait for that. Then I go to the back button and I go to the notebook where I save it. I will, I go to the no notebook here. Then I click on it. This is see it. Uh, I copy out the banner hide. So let me copy these out. And then I go back to my search where then I paste here. That's all. Okay, so add so may I, I I click on the add manually again to hide the interest you have. You click on it, this is interest here. Interest here one. The add unit, I do it the same way I did the first one. So here we are. Copy. Paste. You know, doing this, you don't have to pay anyone to get your any help. You can create it yourself and end with it yourself. You click on add, then you go to next. You click on the next button there. It's pointless buying your ad uh, viewer from anybody. Just make sure you do it yourself. You can do it yourself. Anybody can do it. To so hide the banner hide, you click on edit. Go to edit, then you input the banner for go for banner and interest go for interest. You do this as well. You select, then click on the next button again. Then click on the next again. And now you save. You click on the save button right here. You click on it. You save. And after you are done saving, the next thing you just have to do is to click on the button here. Back button on the library manager here. You click on the back button once. So let's wait while it loads out. This is showing us add, you click on this. So you don't have to click on the has, just cancel the has. So now you add your add view from here. You add it for the first time, you add the first one, you add the second one, you add the third one, you add the fourth one, then you add a fifth one. That's it. Then you go to components. And components, click on. I'm coming. I want to show you everything step by step. And the component, you click on the cross sign here. After clicking on that cross sign, you add entire head. Then component name, you can name it anything you like. Let me name mine AI, then I click on the add button here. Make sure you follow everything step by step. Make sure you follow every single thing I'm doing right now, step by step on add loaded. Go to the components. I'm coming. Then you put shoe. On add the shoe, good components. Then this is the component. You go here, you click on this, and then you search for it here. You see shoe. After clicking on shoe, you click on the button here to you click on the button here to hide the interstitial hat. You click on it, then you hide. That's all. Then you press back button again here on add load to field 
on our face to load rather you click on these are again you click on these then it pops out these and after that you go to uh operator then you pick out that operator i'm coming you go to component pick out toast then you go to operator on yeah bring out the string dash decimal to get this correctly make sure you are dragging them out yeah to to string on this error code click on it once on the error code here click on it and drag now i click on it then i drag here so press the back button again as you are pressing the back button the thing is saving itself automatically so that's what you need to do here leave out uh these boots on our door just leave them out on our clothes just give it like that now go back to go back to events on create now we are on create now you click on these again this same thing you click on it again coming now you click on view after clicking on the view button here you search for add view and then you drag, drag it out the first one the second one the third one you know what you're doing right now is to add the hard units now i this is one two three four then the fifth one i think i added five you click on the button there I think I told you earlier, you click on this. Don't add the same one twice. You click on it, you add the first one, you see. You add the second one, you select. You add the third one, you press on select again. You add the fourth one, then you press the select button again. You add the fifth one, then press the select button again. And then press the back button here as well. That's all. So you go to view, you click on the view here. You click it here. You see, we have button one and button two. On button one, on button one, go to view again. Do the same exact thing as we did the other time. As you load, 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 load. I think this is up to five. The first one, we added just the same thing you did on the other one oh so that's three and this is four and this is the fifth one then you save as well when you press back button so i saved and when i'm telling you to press back button i'm not telling you to press it from your uh, device you press from the app <laughs> from the sketch we have so you click on body two as well now on body two, click on this to pop up. Then you go to components here. When body two, click. Then you pick out the entire share hub on create, and then load. On create, pick this out. AI select. AI select. Then you press that button again. Then you save. Now you are done with anything, everything concerning Sketchware here. You are done with every single thing concerning Sketchware. You save, and then you go back to the main page. You press that button from here, not from the uh, app. You press from here. So save complete. And now we are here. I'm coming. Now we are here. Click on the app we just created now. Click on here. I'm coming. Then you click on the app we just created. You click on this. This is what you click on. After you click on that, it shows you this. On here, you click on sign and export. Sign and export. That's what you do. You click on the sign and export. So Again, you have to watch a video to unlock this as well. So let me watch my own video. You have to watch yours again, or you subscribe to 
uh, Sketchware in order to do this. It's another thing that I want to subscribe to Sketchware in order to do it. So what I have to do right now is just wait and watch my video. Oh, cool. Now I've watched my own uh, video, so it's forced me up to a place, a place like this. So what I have to do right now is just to click on the sign APK. I click on this sign APK. Then I wait while the app creates fully. I wait while the app fully creates. So now we are waiting. I'm waiting. Everyone's waiting. And like I said, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to get more updates. Subscribe to our YouTube channel doesn't mean you have to pay a dime. You just subscribe to our new uh, YouTube channel in order to get a first hand message from us. And if you have anything you want to discuss, you can use the comment section down there to chat us up and make sure we reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you. So now it's done generating the APK file. Then you search for where your app has been saved. That means you go to your file manager, you go to Sketchware to sign APK, then to any app release those APK. That is where you find your app. Make sure you search for it on your device. This has been saved on your device already. Then you go search for it. So let's go to file manager, then go to all files, internal storage. Then let's go to Sketchware. Where is it? Coming. Searching for Sketchware. This is Sketchware. Yeah. I found my Sketchware. You find it's your Sketchware. Then go to Sign APK. Click on the Sign APK. This is our app. Don't install yet. Just leave it that way. You are not dealing with this app right now. Now, all what you have to do before this app start working is you have to sign this app. You have to sign it. So to sign it, you have to have an APK Editor Pro. I mean Editor Pro. When I mean APK Editor, I don't mean just APK Editor. We said APK Editor Pro. Then you click on your APK Editor Pro. Then select an APK file. Wow, it's already here. Then if it's not here, then you search for it. Like if you see this, then you go to uh, self or what? Is this self? Go to emulator, then O. Search for your sketch where the same way you search for you on your file manager, you search for you say, uh, I'm looking for sketch way here. So we found our sketch way here. In case you don't find it already there, you find your sketch way here, then you click on it. Then after the same way you search for you on your file manager, this is it, sign APK, you click on it, then this is what we are editing. You click on full edit now. Full edit. The code all files. Click on the code all files. Oh, I made a mistake. I should have showed you something about this APK editor. Most people use APK to sign APK editor pro to sign their app, and at the end of the day, the app won't show as you want to know why? Because they fail to set up some settings here on APK Editor Pro. It's as some settings for you to make sure you are display ads correctly. You have to go to settings. Now I mean when you go to settings, you scroll up, you scroll up, you scroll up, and now you are here. Sign click on the sign APK width. Sign APK width. You click on this. After clicking on it, you click on this. Make sure you click on this. He created with APK editor. This that's what you sign with. He created with APK editor. So that's what you do. Then you press back button again. Now it's saved. Let's go to select an APK file. This is what we are doing. Full edit. The code of files. Yep. This thing is fast. Full edit. Decode all files. Okay, now we are here to decode all the files. Then you don't have to do anything here. You just click on the build. Click on build. Sign the APK. That's what you do. Just sign it and relax while the app fully signs. So you wait for a while. While you're signing your app, after doing this step, 
your app should be showing the ad you place inside and then you hand with it. You don't need anybody to create an app for you and take some money off from you. You can do it all by yourself. You can get every single thing you want by yourself. So now we are here. You know, I created this app using this same phone. When you want to start clicking your ads, don't use the same phone you used in creating to play to uh, load the ads because Google AdMob may ban you. So you have to be very sure of what you are doing. So to locate the app you just signed here, you will see it on this uh, place saved as APK as storage. Go to your storage emulated or APK at this approach. Then you share this app with your friend. You click from a friend's phone. And don't be in hurry to end on Google AdMob. After this short video, I'm going to create another video on how you click on your ads safely without Google AdMob banning you. Thanks for your time and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to get first-hand information on every single thing we do. Thank you very much.